set up CMS Pro for pop-ups uh, using text strings. Uh, we have to go through a couple of different uh, small procedures. So let's start with uh, the top one, uh, local device setup. So if we choose this one, for example, to uh, create pop-ups using text strings, we edit the device and we make sure that we just click the text in as a pop-up. And then, of course, we have to put in the PIN number again. Uh, another good option here just to um, have enabled is reconnect when disconnected. So if the line drops out, uh, the internet, whatever, it'll automatically try and reconnect again. So we acknowledge that, close that window. Then the next one down on the list is the environment. So we click on video display and we come to text in display and we apply that. So we go down to text detection and we choose again our test DVR and we add in the message that we want to pick out. Something nice and easy, we add that and then we apply it. If we don't apply it, it doesn't save it. Um, and then we can check, you know, uh, the other ones that we've got on and come back to this one. If we want to delete it, again, we OK it, but we have to apply it. So just make sure that we do that step. So again, I'll just add this one in. Apply it. And the last step is doing... Um, doing the settings on the DVR. So we can actually do almost all of the settings from CMS Pro. There is one setting that we can't do from CMS Pro, so I'll just uh, talk through that. Uh, that has to be done live on the machine. So we can connect up to the machine here. We go down to Serial. So this is under the network uh, settings. Then there's Serial In. Uh, so you can see here that with RS-232-1 going to USB port, uh, it creates the first uh, RS-232 connection here. The only thing that we can't change is the port settings. That has to be done on the DVR. So we would normally choose, for example, on this 9600, 8-bit, uh, stop bit as 1, and parity as none. That would normally be it, and probably 9600 board rate, or... Um, 2500 board rate, whichever you, your RS-232 input is set to. Pattern. Um, now the pattern uh, is fully customizable, so you can have the start pattern. Let's say um, the start pattern for any uh, RS-232 message is, is a bracket. Uh, you would use that as the start pattern. The end pattern might be the last character that's received. Uh, on any of the messages that come through that could be uh, the opposite bracket um, so we just will add those in just as you know a test message um, the line delimiter whatever that may be um, you know you don't actually have to put all of these settings in it's a little bit of trial and error on this uh, the best way to sort out the exact message is to sniff it using hyperterminal or uh, something like that. But once you have your message set up, so you have a start pattern, end pattern, um, and all this does is the way it is displayed and saved in the DVR. So, um, for example, anything after this bracket will be displayed, and when it sees this bracket, it will then go to the next line. And that's all there is. Um, if you wanted to see any message that comes up on the screen, you can just set this to auto. And it pretty much uh, does a bypass on most of the patterns. For more information on how to set up the serial in or pause, please refer to the user's manual. Now, um, just to stop a bit of confusion, there is a pop-up link section here in the alarms. There is a serial link in. All this does is operate the inputs and outputs. So, for example, 
when any serial is detected you can link a camera to an output um, for example in the um, uh, pause detection you might have no sale as the only thing that pops up and you want to create an alarm an email event you can do that um, for the uh, car parking you wouldn't use this section at all it's just not needed um, pop-up link what that means is that when any of these alarms here are detected it will create a pop-up on the DVR not in CMS so what that means is it goes to full screen so if you want camera one to go to full screen on motion you click that um, or if there's an alarm input you click that one um, but uh, it's only for live on the DVR it is nothing to do with CMS at all so you don't need any of this set um, and that's all the settings there is uh, to uh, to make the pop-ups work.